Hey guys, it's your broker bears and welcome to the final episode in my FIFA 17 PSV career mode. This episode will be purely the Champions League final, as you can see it's against Barcelona. They got past PSG with away goals. It was one all in the first leg and nil all in the return leg, so Barcelona got through. And away goals. Um, which, I'm, I'm sorry, that would make me the favorite. There's no reason I shouldn't be the favorite when I destroyed he'd, he'd Real Madrid, Juventus, and Napoli all to get here. Her. And Barcelona got to the final by the skin of their teeth. So, this is so we'll just be one in game. It'll be the Champions League final. There'll be uh, the whole celebrations, the whole game. Mm, where go to. Even if it goes well, this to is a great extra time day penalties, for I can the Champions Cup. The final. Nothing else left. Which is going to be this contested is the last here. game. Of and uh, it's got to be played to a conclusion. And uh, yeah, it's in the Amsterdam it's Arena. And Alan Smith. Well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really don't. How? Who came up with this? Who actually came up with this? The real Champions final was in Stockholm. One area I know they've been concerned about yeah. is uh, difficulties from Amsterdam. The of all the places they could have picked. And of course they make me the home team, which kind of fits because the PSV. We are in Mike in a PSV country. He's great form in midfield, and they'll play with a sole striker. And what? To be an early goal. Mark Andre Testegen starts in goal. PK starts with Samuel Umtiti. Was quick to make sure that didn't happen. Who's on game? Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. He's quick to action. Referees officiating properly here within the laws of the game. Quite entitled to give that as a free kick. Stop Messi game ahead of me. Messi in a wide position here. He found him. Javier Mascherano. Neymar. Lose it. The ball broke free. Harris. Oh, but Mascherano's tackle gets the ball back for Barcelona. Here with Messi. He loses it, bro. Probably. It's just he. Yeah, I'm going to be the commentary. Carrera. Oh, again, I lose it to Mascherano. I'm losing it to their names twice I lost to them. And it should be the sharpest of contests. Wait. Given the elite nature yeah. of the Come on. Cup final. Yes. Ferrario. Hasn't the Martin in the days leading Over up to this? Does he self-justice self -justice this yeah. match? And we Ferrario. don't get a cautious, cagey game. But the back end. He's... He sticks his leg. Oh, ah, yeah, it's enough to get the ball. Into the hands of Ter Stegen. Position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous we come again. position now. Oh, sure. All right. Well, the cross looked good, but it didn't turn out that way. He's going to clear it and Rakitic fully clears it. But all he requires is not. David Proper. Proper. Pereira. In this move. Pereira. The defense here. Lost oh, what's the chance from Malawa? Uh, goes for a goal! And a good save from Thursday. Hey, it will be the first quarter of the game. In 20 seconds in. Uh, good. It, um, block off with his hands. To, in there, away for a corner and nothing else. Harris. Good pass. For Shrary. Perario didn't get the connection he would have wanted at all. Ooh, I hit Roberto. Locadia! Ooh. 
fine save. And that's gone behind for a corner. I'm saying I accidentally hit his own there it was mass confusion look for Barcelona he got his hand over to make sure the located shot was dealt with I'm sure he will whip in the corner it's my hands not the best header <laughs> he's going high this time not going to risk hitting one of his own because again but it's coming back anyway with Ferrario. Proper. Oh, there'll be another corner. Deflected behind for that. Corners are quickly building up. And he's in there with a the header. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right and, uh, time. And there will be a goal. Short to Roberto. Oh, that was a bad pass. That's from the Argentinian. Powered by Neymar here. I had a feeling I was going to be caught there and use that to my advantage. Hit the free kick. Rocco Van Hinkle. Van Ginkle. It's looking good, this move. I'm sorry. Here's an opportunity. Okay, yeah. Went for it. Oh, and Gerard PK does enough to make sure for it's not followed up. Messi's extraordinary standards. Damn it. Extraordinarily poor. Yeah, you can only say. We were the last chances before the half time whistle. Oh, is there going to be something here? No, it's safely in the hands of Ter Stegen and not onto the head of Proper. I was hoping it would reach. I'm sorry, is there going to be one more El Shirawi. attack? On the There's one more for attack, isn't it? They're giving a chance. Oh, Jory Alba clears it away in the first half and as it started with the stalemate. Nil-nil at the break in the Champions League final. Look at that domination, though. Seven shots, five on target. Barcelona haven't had a uh, sniff at my goal. Well, the first half flash by, second half underway here, Champions Cup final. Yeah, and a chance for people just to settle down in that dressing room at half time and come out and produce the best this final 45 minutes. Messi. Messi takes it forward. Not a good challenge by the defender. Barcelona awarded the throw here. And the throw right down in my goal. Careful. Yes, well, they turn, uh, tried to go to the Himar. I read it though. Rams are now. Attacking now. I have the beating of the defenders. Oh, and Jared PK makes it. Absolutely idiot mistake. Yellow card for the Shakira fucker. But Stefan El to the spot. And he scores the Champions League final oh, wait, 52 minutes, but it now has its deadlock broken by the Italian. And it showed with that confident strike. Yeah, I mean, this ball One ball to, to me. And he showed it there. Really, really cool strike there. Great penalty. He Tersegan after a good number of saves. Unfortunately for him, he went the wrong way. He would have a hard time trying to save it. Anyway, six Champions League goals for Ushery. I didn't even check if anyone could in the top goal score or work in the competition. Not that it matters. What matters is that I win. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. And shoots! The thing itself. Oh! Barcelona almost immediately have the first shot. Huh? And Luis Suarez pull forces a save from my goalkeeper. Here's Neymar. Mascherano. Gets his Good tackle by the Now we can counter attack. That challenge. 
El Sharawi. El Sharawi. Was good progress with this attack. El Sharawi. Oh, Rakitic. Got his body in the way enough to take any the danger and sting out the he shot from Mel Sharari. By the defender. Let's try that again. Oh, Tursting is equal to it. That'll be a corner. 65. Hey, Mez. Go on, here comes Meza Ozil for, for having a master on the first substitution of the game. Weird to think that's the first substitution of the game. There, look at the Alshari. Shot that Torstegen was equal to. Point. Goes for it with a fist. Oh. Now I'm Leo Messi is running at me. I missed him. Ah, gone that time. Sit down. Oh, oh crap, he got the ball back. How did he do that? Yes. Now. Thankfully, he's Nine. passing. In his ass today for some reason. I'm not gonna complain. Come on. Suggests that the battling is still going on. One thing having punched away by the goalkeeper, and he's in there with a header. I wanted to hit that, but I was afraid he Messi would take it. It. So I had to. I. I just hit the button and he did a header for some reason. I'm uh, running out of time there. 15 Sergio minutes or so. Well, to get a go. Well, to send us extra time. Ivan Rakitic. No way goes. Here. Trying to find a way through. Okay, yeah. Oops, the ball. Well, in. Crossed. Oh. And Gerard Pique can get it away. Oh, back to Messi. Back to. Oh, that. He returns it to Ter Stegen. Oh, looking to I tried to rush him. Really it kind of works because you can see the throw. The oh, proper. If I can get a second goal, I think and that'll be me. He champions the champions proper. Off the post. Off the post. The throw. There's going to be some activity from the bench for Barcelona. Sherry. Go, come on, this checked in for Rakitic. Personally, I'm throwing everything at the hole to see what will stick. Well, he clears the danger. Ramzar. Let's try that again. Oh. PK. It's a long ball, but absolutely no one is there but red white shirts. El Shirari. Stefan El Shirari! 2 0! It's over! The Champions League! He gets picked his knees. It's a 2 0 victory. El Shirari, the man I signed, gets both goals. And in Holland. The Champions League is going to the Dutch side. How ironic. Restarting at 2-0. That was um intense. I mean it's not over yet, but in the first one. Oh, he won't even get a chance to get anywhere near my goal. I was going to say, if he ran up all the way and got a goal, it would probably only be a consolation. He didn't even get a chance. Also finished that match. The match is Barcelona's gap. worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so. Boy, they deserve it. That would be much of it. Well, I will... Oh. Who is enjoying the sight of winning the Champions League? The players are celebrating. Well, it's been a terrific I'm going to take a drink. Why will they do that? And a terrific tournament.
right from the early rounds, the group stages. And here we are at the climax of it all, Alan. Yeah, it's the pinnacle of club football, isn't it, for these professionals. A day, a season they will never forget. What a campaign for them. They are Europe's elite. They have won the Champions Cup. moments these Alan sharing the joy on the field with those off it the fans they'll know where their particular friends and families are in the stadium yeah it's at this point really you don't want to leave the pitch you don't want these moments to end wonderful camaraderie between the lads what a moment for them to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll that's another thing you got I hope they add into the new game varying celebrations like do the celebrations all have to be the same animation over and over again no matter what you win mm, sure he do some hmm, different things. He's right. I, am I am I crazy? Here you can see the final look at the table tree, tournament tree, I should say. Yeah. You did though. Sure, you did. You fucking bossed it, man. Fourteen goals. In fact, let's go in and look at a squad report to finish up. So, uh, including preseason play. 40 games with 31 clean sheets which is wrong because wait it is a 30 no 34 did he not play all three games? 34 games. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. But uh, yeah. That, that should be 29 clean sheets. Because he only conceded one goal. And that was the goal against Feyenoord. Champions League. 3 out of 4. I'm not sure what games he competed in. He did compete in that game. I'm gonna assume that's correct. But uh, his, his league total is wrong. It should be 29, not 24. So he's missing five clean sheets there. Um, Jardius. Probably completely butcher his name. Uh, 16 games, not bad. And for a keeper who was real, who was back up, and 16 games, 11 clean sheets. That's that's a pretty good ratio for a goalkeeper. For a lot of teams, if you're a goalkeeper for a lot of teams, you play 16 games, you get 11 clean sheets. You're going to be considered to be doing a good job unless you made hor horrible mistakes in those other five games. Which, I can't remember him making a bad mistake, so he's golden. Another one who is missing five clean sheets from his league total. 
Aris got played 39 games, so he played a game less than Zolitic. He actually got one goal in the uh, cup, as well as five league assists for his total. Two yellow cards, one in the uh, in preseason, one in the Champions League. Rano didn't play a lot of games. Eleven games, one assist. He has one air divisie game, and he got six clean sheets. He didn't do too well in the Champions League. A lot of it. Five games, he didn't get a clean sheet. I don't know if he actually did get clean shit, just didn't give it to him, but his rating would say he didn't play well at all. This guy, I don't know why I signed him. He played three times, he got one assist. He got a clean sheet every time he appeared, so, I mean, he didn't do bad, but... I really shouldn't have signed a third right back. I didn't need a third right back. Elevid. Did he? 16 games. 15 clean sheets. So only one game he competed in. I didn't keep a clean sheet. Which is pretty good really. One yellow card in all of that time. And he got two assists as well. So, pretty good return from the, uh, is it Swedish? Yeah, Swedish centre-back, who can also play right-back, so I could just use him if I need a right-back. Nicholas Ismat Mirren, another person who is missing five clean sheets. Um, overall, played 39 games, one assist. Similar stats to Eric's actually. Only he's missing the goals and the assists. <laughs> um, the Akabi played 10 games, got 7 clean sheets, 1 goal in the cup, and 1 assist in the league. Again, he's missing three Champions League clean sheets. For why, I don't know. I can't remember why I signed this guy. I think I initially signed him to be like extra backup just in case. He ended up playing nine games and got seven clean sheets. But he got two yellow cards and he got sent off in the Champions League. Nock got five goals in his 17 appearances. Uh, majority of them would have been from the penalty spot though. He takes the penalties for the second team. This guy did not play at all. Oh, he's out on loan. Sorry. Out on loan. Jetro Williams played four games. Got three goals. Goals and seven assists. I'm not going to point out the clean sheets thing anymore. Fontana, another player who didn't play that much. Burnett. 15 games, 9 clean sheets, 1 assist, 2 yellow cards. Rizzo, 11 games, 2 goals, 1 assist, 9 clean sheets. Didn't play this guy at all. Cassidy, 7 games, 1 assist, 5 clean sheets. Van Ginkel, who was an absolute fucking revelation after he came back into the team after being out for a few games when I uh, put
put Pep Guardado in. He came back. He scored a bunch of goals. Goals. Six absolute screamers from those eight goals in the league. He got two in preseason. I can't remember if those were any good or not. He also got five assists. Not bad. Not bad. Twenties in clean sheets. And just the one yellow card. Which isn't bad for a central midfielder. Proper play. He throws in games. He got nine goals and 13 assists. That's 28 clean sheets. He got one red card in preseason. I don't remember what happened there. Yuri Stillian Mans, I am used to him. I ever really did point myself. I shouldn't have signed him, to be honest. And next week, I won't get to sign him. Well, I at least can't sign him in the first season because he's moved to Monaco. And yes, I have confirmed that he has moved to Monaco. And Sewell has moved to Bayern, so there you go. I was unsure about that in my Liverpool criminal video, which kind of went up late. But, uh,. Now I'm aware. Newman, three games, three goals, one assist, three clean sheets. Very good stats from the young central midfielder from Germany. Could be a star in the making. Fortunately, he's going to cease to exist once his career mode is deleted. Uh, Unless there actually is a player somewhere in the world. There probably is someone in the world somewhere. And one. Is it one or Jan? I don't know. Ain't Germans in the. What in the video? Let me know. How is this guy's name pronounced? And if there's anyone watching this video home with that name. Mate. A football career might be calling you. Andres Guitado, 17 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 7 clean sheets. Excuse me. I could. He has no games in preseason because he was injured for that time. A whole bunch of players. Three players out of the before we come to Ramsar, who had a very good season. He paid 10.5 million. They could easily get more than that now for him. He's 20 years old. Let me think he was like a little older than that. Huh. Hmm. He might be the next. His. I priced Gem to come out of the uh, Air Division and try his hand at the Premier League. Excuse me. 25 league goals from 30 games. Oh no, he got 31 goals in all competition. He didn't include preseason. 15 assists, 30 clean sheets. Not bad. I don't know why he includes clean sheets for central attacking midfielders. It's not really his job to keep a clean sheet. But there you go. I can't pronounce this guy's name. I just call him the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And indeed he was. Look at that. Champions League return. Ten goals. Goals. And two assists. Man City, you are welcome. At least I think it's Man City. It is Man City, you're on welcome, isn't it? Yeah. If this guy is half as good as he in real life as he was in the game, he could have a very bright future. Mayor, Alan Moan. This guy, Alan Moan, I don't know. Phil, I brought in for some reason. He played three games, got one goal assist, and three clean sheets. Did I go through? Yeah, you can see there. Perario, 
I was very unsure of Pereira at the start. But, um... I was unsure because his pace wasn't exactly the best. I really like much faster players. I was half tempted to trade him in for somebody else. But in the end, I stuck by him, and I think he's at least proven that that was a good decision. 38 games, 12 goals, 15 assists. 28 clean sheets and just the one yellow card. Guy Larson, who I used in a career mod I didn't do on YouTube, but he was actually very good for me. I was playing in, I think it was like the Swedish League or something, and I was looking for a young winger, and I found this Larson. Hey, is that ever it's to be working? him again. Five goals he got in his 19 games with three assists, which doesn't seem like the best return, but you have to think he has a very bright future ahead of him, I think. I think. That day. Blood. Locadia. Had a great season. He finished top goal score above anybody else. The he nine games, 44 goals, 13 clean, uh, assists, sorry, 29 clean sheets, he's worth 11 million, well, if they sell him for anything less than 25 to 30 million, and if they sell him at all, then they are being robbed, because De Jong, I was kind of disappointed with De Jong in preseason. You can see he played four games and he didn't, didn't score a goal at all. He couldn't score for love nor money. He, he got one assist at the night. I'm pretty sure that was like in the last game of preseason. But he still got 10 goals and 7 assists. So... Not the not the not the best return to be honest. I definitely made the right choice choosing Lucadia Lucadia as my uh, main striker. I mean, if this guy had gotten had from twenty one games, he got ten goals. That's a quarter of the goals that Lucadia scored. If I scored a quarter of the goals I scored in the game, I might not be champions. I think I might still be champions, but uh, it, it, it would have been a lot harder. So luckily I had him on hand. Seven up, Ferrari. He. He. A man who almost forgotten to FIFA time. I think, I think I've proven that he is still a quality player. Or, or great a return. 23.5 million spent very well. Easily get more than that back. Even though his valuation is 18.5. Probably because he only went up by one overall somehow. Um, 21 was... 38 games, 17 clean sheets, just the one yellow card, I think very good the return, of course he scored the goals that won me the Champions League. Bergwin, I know, a, a name who will be very familiar to regular career mode players, of course he's one of those young wingers who just know he, uh, he has a uh, great potential. He played 26 games, got 6 goals and 6 assists. And this guy didn't actually get a game, actually, weirdly enough. And that's it. That's the end of 
the score report. That's the end of the video. And that's the end of the PSV career mode. On Monday, I will be bringing you, hopefully, the new one. I haven't actually gotten any, any uh, update from my uh, man yet. He hasn't sent me the new thumbnail yet. But, oh, he should have by Monday. I'm not worried in the slightest. I you trust him completely. To get the uh, the job done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, don't forget to check out on my other her series. And I will see you all for the next career mode. And the next series. And everything in the future. Until next time. I hope you all have a very, very nice day.